Hi, what's up guys? This summer I've been doing research on natural language processing here at the University of Chicago um, and I can't believe that it's already August 20 that uh, I'm going to leave here for China uh, a week later so I think it's about the time to uh, conclude this summer and provide some important information for you uh, as you, a prospective U Chicago student or maybe simply tourists. So I will uh, provide uh, the following information in this video series. First, how did I get here? What do you need to prepare to apply for New Chicago? Second, uh, like how is the working environment here? Third, how are my mentors? Fourth, uh, how is the life here? And fifth, like. Um, is that um, how about American students here and what skills did I learn and what about the presentation the recommendation letter I will cover all those topics in this movie series so stay tuned to my my channel and I will update in the following days if you still have questions uh, after watching this video please feel free to contact me through my email and my email address is achieving legend uh, at gmail.com just the English world achieving legend so first and foremost I would talk about uh, how did I get here like no one would care about the, the working environment or your Chicago students life here if you are not enrolled in uh, some program so the first part is about uh, three tips that I would give you to apply for your Chicago summer programs so let's get started Tip number one, don't miss the deadline. American universities usually have an early summer vacation. Students here will jump into their summer quarter at the beginning of June, while we are still a month away from our final exam week. Therefore, the application deadline seems extremely early for us. For U Chicago summer program, the, the, the deadline is around mid-March. So you better start watching the information before the Chinese New Year begins. Last year I went to Harvard University to have a summer school and the deadline is on May 20 but um, the earlier you apply, the earlier your documents get viewed and the earlier you get admitted. If you apply late then other people might have already taken your seats then you have no chance to get admitted. So tip number one, don't miss the deadline and if you exceed the deadline, your application is dead. Tip number two, show your professional knowledge in your personal statement. In New Chicago, your documents will often be viewed first by a faculty and then by a PhD student. So um, what you need to do is to impress the PhD student and let him know that you have the knowledge you need to do the research and you are professional at your major. For my project here, I'm a CS student and my professional knowledge is about computer science. So computer is what I need to write about, about data, about AI, about whatever knowledge you know about machine learning or that something. You need to show that you are talented and you have professional knowledge in the personal statement. Instead of writing about your dream, your fondness of the, their school, those things are garbage. Everyone wants to get into the, 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 the most uh, famous universities in the United States. But you need to show that you are different and you have the knowledge, you have the proficiency and you have a lot of things that make you stand out. So, tip number two, write your professional knowledge in the personal statement. Don't write garbages, uh, don't write anything that's not important. So, good luck to your personal statement. Tip number three, proxy the application process. Information is always not symmetric. We as students don't have the power to gather a lot of information about available programs. So the first thing you need to do is to stay uh, to follow your school's foreign exchange office and stay tuned to their publications. They will provide a lot of information for you uh, and you are more likely to get the fundings from your school by uh, going through their programs. 
But personally, I think that's not en enough for me. Like, I don't want to devote too much time uh, into the into dealing with those regular process like the applications, the filling of forms. I want someone to do that for me. So I find some uh, agency like the they are called the um, abroad study abroad agency. When I want to apply for some specific summer school or summer programs, I contact them and they will fill the form for me. They will do the application process that's regular for me. The only drawback of inviting a study abroad agency might be the price. It's not cheap to have a team to consider your application process. Uh, it cost me 65,000 yuan to invite the professional team to do the application for me uh, but personally I think it's worthwhile to do that because I have already been admitted to a Harvard summer school and uh, Chicago summer research program without their help it's likely that I can still have those two programs but I need to devote a lot of my time doing that regular stuff that, I, that I'm not familiar with like uh, applying uh, on their websites and uh, doing a lot of different things like filling the forms, uh, DS-160 and a lot of that thing and they will con contact with the school by emails and uh, make sure that I got everything I, I need to offer like my photos, my, my, my everything uh, so I think that's worthwhile and I think exchanging um, money for time is better than exchanging time for money. Uh, so for now I think the investment on myself is very worthwhile and I hope you can also do that because it eliminates a lot of trouble for you. Okay, above are the three tips that I have for you guys in the next section we will talk about the working environment here at the University of Chicago. So stay tuned and I will see you there. Shh. <laughs>